When the Hearthstone esports team announced the change from Conquest to Specialist, many players were intrigued as to what this meant for competitive Hearthstone, since this was such a big shift from the current formats. Specialist is the new competitive format where each player brings three decks of the same class to a tournament. Players have access to a primary, secondary, and tertiary deck. The secondary and tertiary decks can be up to five cards different from the primary deck. At the start of each round, each player plays with their primary deck. When the first game is over, both players have the option of staying with their primary deck or switching to their secondary or tertiary ones depending on what they feel gives them the best chance in the matchup. In this video, we'll be breaking down the best decks and top performers thus far in the brand new Specialist format. Before we jump in, make sure you're subscribed to the channel in order to keep up with the rest of our Hearthstone content. Midrange Hunter, unsurprisingly, has quickly risen to the top of the Specialist meta. With access to some of the best early game tools in Standard and flexible game plans for the Secondary and Tertiary decks, this archetype has quickly cemented itself as the deck to beat. With the ability to transition from a straightforward, aggressive build to one that's better versus the slower decks in the format, Hunter is a difficult deck to try and beat consistently. Deathrattle Hunter is another archetype that has found significant success in the Masters qualifiers. While it may not be as popular as its mid-range counterpart, this deck still has incredibly powerful draw potential and great control matchups. The secondary and tertiary deck approaches either make the deck much better against aggro or make its control matchups even better. Many players have even taken to adding Nerubian Unravelers to make their combo matchups better as well. Myra's Tempo Rogue is a relatively new deck, but don't let that fool you. It is extremely powerful and has already put up top 8 finishes in multiple Masters qualifiers. The core of the deck is an aggressive tempo shell backed up by Myra's unstable element to refuel. The secondary deck allows for a transition to be better versus mid-range decks. The tertiary deck is a transformation into a control killer with the ability to shuffle unending pogo hoppers into the deck with Valera the Hollow and Lab Recruiter. Due to the rise of Tempo Rogue in these qualifiers, some players have begun adding Golaka Crawler to their decks to increase their chance in these matchups. Priest has shown itself to be a contender for one of the better non-hunter classes to bring to Specialist. The cloning gallery archetype of Priest showed up early on in the Masters qualifiers, but has quickly fallen by the wayside due to its poor mid-range hunter matchup. Control Priest, however, has risen to the top of the Specialist meta specifically because it can build its primary deck to be good against Hunter. Most common ways to build the secondary and tertiary decks are to design one to beat Odd Warrior and to make the third deck better against aggro decks. Odd Paladin is as resilient as ever, powered by the consistency and strength of Baku. The main reason to play this deck in Specialist right now is that it has a pretty good matchup against the mid-range and cube hunter archetypes. This deck has limited flexibility for its secondary and tertiary decks due to Baku's restriction, but Odd Paladin still finds some edges here and there to better their deck. Cards like Stormwind Champion and Raid Leader can help make wide boards very threatening, whereas cards like Witch's Cauldron can be used to fight a value battle. Odd Warrior is the last of the big decks in Specialist. Many control aficionados like Colmari have found a way to make Odd Warrior work in this format. By making their primary deck as good against mid-range Hunter as possible, Odd Warrior players give themselves the best shot at doing well in the Specialist Cups. Against Cube Warlock or Cube Hunter, they can bring in Iron Beak Owls, Tink Master Overspark, Big Game Hunter, and Harrison Jones to disrupt the opponent's plan. Against slower, greedier decks, they can make the deck more aggressive by adding in cards like Leroy and Frothing Berserker to open up ways of playing proactively to win unfavorable matchups. Although the Specialist format is fairly new, it hasn't taken long for players to figure out that Hunter is the deck to beat. Of course, it's not the only deck you can play in the format, but it has forced the metagame to shape itself around it. It's unlikely that the meta changes very much until rotation, and we'll likely see a few deck outliers pop up here and there. So, if you're interested in Specialist, build your decks, make sure you can beat Hunter, and get to battling! Thanks for tuning into our first Specialist video! We hope this helped you gain a better understanding of the Specialist format. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more quality Hearthstone content. See you next time!